Hello guys, welcome to Unlimited Codes. In this video, I am going to introduce some basic MATLAB mathematical functions for beginners. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share Unlimited Codes. Press bell icon for notifications. This is the MATLAB R 2016A version. By clicking new script, we will get an editor. Here we can see two windows. First one is editor and the second one is command window. In command window, we are writing our code. Suppose we are taking the variable is x. Then we will assign some value to it. Suppose it is 12 and taking another variable called y and its value is like 5 if you want to do operation like sum it is like x plus y we can also store this addition or sum value into a variable called sum so sum is equal to x plus y. Now we can see that the sum is storing the value 17 which is the sum of this x and y. We can do other operations also like subtraction equal to x minus y value 7 we can do multiplication x into y which is 60 and division also x divided by y its value is 2.4 all these values are stored here if we want to do combination of operations like 1 by 2 plus 3 square plus Four by five multiplied by six by seven. These operations can be done like result is equal to one divided by two plus. Square plus four by five multiplied by six by seven. Sorry, we know that there are so many elementary functions in MATLAB. Or mathematics these are the sum of elementary functions and these are the functions used in MATLAB to find cosine we use cos of x to find sine we use sine of x for minimum for maximum we use uh, max of x min of x seal of x floor of x and like this all the functions are used and while uh, using this uh, the x in cosine tan like trigonometric functions we have to aware to be aware that it should be in radians so we will do some example sine of pi by 2 we can find square root by using x q r t 
of 4 that is answer is 2 if we want to find the minimum and maximum values value from set of values uh, then we can find using min and max functions suppose x is a vector you can store values like 2 5 4 um, 6 8 24 now we can find minimum value like min of x which is 2 and max of x which is 24 how to plot a diagram so let's x be a vector having values like 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and y is equal to 3 minus 1 2 4 5 and 1 we can plot the graph using the function plot plot of x comma y this is the graph we are getting this is the x value and this is the corresponding y value now we will do another example for that we will open editor in this we will write our code x equal to 0 to pi by 100 to 2 into pi y equal to sin of x plot x comma y then we can give x label as x equal to 0 to 2 pi y label is sine of x and we will give title as plot of the sine function we have to first save this then we have to run here so we can see that x axis is 0 to 2 pi y axis sine of x and the title is plot of the sine function if we want to draw two lines in one graph like y equal to sine of x we have given now I'm giving y1 is equal to cos of x and we can plot this like first one is x comma y 
then second one is x comma y1 and you can see that two lines are the one is for sine of x and another one is for cos of x we can add legend to this plot by rewriting the code like using legend function y equal to sine of x and the next y, y is equal to cos of x and we can give the location southwest We can run it. You can see that the blue line shows sine of x and the red line shows cos of x. Thank you for watching this video. In the next part, we will see the metric operations array operations and linear operations please share subscribe this channel for more videos